Hey guys, my hair. So this is the second part of KPCV, K-pop comeback updates. Um, this is the comeback section, so there will be teasers of actual teasers and teaser photos, but there will actually be no music videos that were released this week in this section. So if you want to see that, go ahead and click right here. It'll be on either side of me. I don't know which side I'm putting it on yet. Probably this side. And you can go ahead and check out all of the music videos that came out this week. All of them actually were really, really good and worth checking out. First for coming back, we have Four Men. And the Teleton vocal group Four Men is about to return with a new song. And they released a music video teaser. The song is titled Proposed Song. And it's perfect for this like summery and romantic season we're kind of in right now. The music video teaser features shots of a wedding as well as the four men members singing at said wedding. It's really, really cute. I just, I love it. It's so, like, I love weddings. This will be released on May 8th. Go ahead and wait for the full release. I'll be talking about that next week. There's a link to the official music video teaser in the description and a little teaser teaser right now. So go ahead and check it out, guys. <laughs> Next we have 2PM! Finally, 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 I can say more than just JYP delayed their comeback for another month or so. 2PM revealed a trailer for one of their title tracks, Come Back When You Hear This Song. There are going to be two title tracks, they're pulling a Big Bang, or 21, or YG entertainment um all day i think of you and come back when you hear the songs after their two-year hiatus it's been two years since these boys have sung in korean just seeing all six of them in a non japanese music video singing in korean is really really weird for me i don't know why teaser is the boys walking around on top of a building looking super handsome and also inside of the building and they just look so good i'm so excited and guys my 2 p.m feels they're coming back I didn't like Hands Up that much, but I like the concept that they're going with so far, so hopefully I'll like this. I'm really, really excited for this comeback, and I'll probably start getting into 2PM again. I already am thinking about ordering the album. Right now, there's a version A pre-order, that's what it's being called, is version A, which I'm, I'm kind of like, do I want to wait and see if there's other versions? Do I want to buy version A and just hope that the other versions aren't as good so go ahead and check that out if you haven't already and if you're hottest pre-order the album because this is fantastic so go ahead and check that out guys Next we have So and Young, and So and Young is coming back and treated fans to the first music video teaser of her new song, Let's Break Up. It's a soft and soothing concept as she walks through the forest, and her company stated rather than energetic elements, the teaser shows a comfortable atmosphere that focuses on the music. The flow of the teaser is the direction that So and Young's comeback will go. You will be able to see a new charm through her comeback. Basically, like, the teaser is her walking through the woods, and she looks kind of lost, and there's shots of the woods, and it's really, really green, and it's really pretty, and it's just really, it's kind of a relaxing concept. It kind of reminds me of the teasers for B1A4's, what was that album called? In the Wind, that album. So, it's just the whole forest theme. I don't actually think it's going to be similar. So, her comeback will be on the 15th of May, so go ahead and look forward to that. Hopefully, I'll have more information on that next week. Next we have B1A4, and speaking of B1A4, they revealed their tracklist for their comeback mini album What's Going On. WM Entertainment made an announcement on the boys' official website and confirmed the online album and music video released to be on May 6th and the offline release to be on May 7th. The tracks will be Starlight Song, What's Going On, Yesterday, Good Love, and How Many Times. So five songs, we'll assume that all those are full-length tracks right now and not that Starlight Song is an intro because that would suck. 
In addition to the dates in the track list, they also wrote on the page to us there will be a surprising event happening on the homepage. So yeah, they will be coming back on May 6th. That's only a couple days from now, so that's really exciting. I will be talking about that next week, so go ahead and look forward to that, guys. Next, we have Nine Muses, and it feels like they just came back. Didn't they just come back? I'm pretty sure I just talked about them, like, a month ago. According to their label, Star Empire, the girls will be releasing a new mini-album on May 8th. It's been four months since their last promotion for Dolls, and the title of the song is The Work of Sweet Tune. Duh. The label added, we're currently putting the finishing touches on the music video. You'll be able to see an upgraded version of Nine Muses Charm soon. And all of the members showed their wild side. This album's called Wild. With fierce shots in their own solo shots. So here's a little slideshow of the nine girls right now. Stay tuned for the continuation of O9 Project, which means that they're going to have daily teasers until their comeback on May 9th. Also, by the time I film KPC View next week, that may be out, the music video may be out. So, we'll get to talk about that as well. So, go ahead and look forward to that, guys. And finally, this week, we have the kings of K-pop, Shinwa. Shinwa announced their comeback through their official Facebook page. It seems like they're becoming very, very active again. Uh, Shinwa's 11th album will be titled The Classic and will be released on May 16th. The photo included the announcement and the announcement seemed to show the members running towards something. And there's also a photo of the members filming the music video, but you can't actually see the members' faces or their clothes or anything. A photo of the members filming the music video for the latest album, The Classic, has been uploaded to their official Facebook page with the caption by the administrator. This is the site of the music video shooting for Shinwa's 11th album title song. I have to show at least the silhouette of the dramatic choreography, no, the best choreography and outfit ever. There's really no information on this comeback besides the release date, hopefully, because they're filming the music video. Hopefully, we'll get to see more teasers of that next week. Yeah, so that's it for this week's K-pop comeback updates. My question for this week is, if you're a hottest, just let me know how excited you are for this comeback. If you like their dark concepts more, or if you liked kind of their hands-up party concept. I prefer their darker concepts. That's kind of why I fell in love with 2PM. I fell in love with them during their heartbeat so right after jay left that was kind of when i got into them and heartbeat was the first music video i watched and i was like trying to learn all the members names which if you've seen the music video is not an easy task another question what is your favorite question that has been asked in k-pop because there's a lot of questions we have what's going on we have do you want some tea there's others there are definitely others i can't think of any others right now because it seems like everybody does questions now. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you haven't seen the first part and you really do want to see the first part, here's the link again right here. So go ahead and watch that. And I definitely have more um, stuff coming. I might be putting up a new poster here. Here, let me just grab it. I went to Walmart today. And I got a poster. It's a side poster. I bought this poster. It's upside down. I'm sorry. This thing's huge. Where am I going to put this? So I bought this today. So you might be seeing this in my videos. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. It's just, it's like the cover of this album. And I was really excited about it. And my friend, I went with my friend who doesn't really know I like K-pop. And she was like, okay. She found it funny. And I was like, I'm buying this. <laughs> I do love Psy. And I've never really found a K-pop poster in the States before. And I was just really excited about it. So that might be... I might put that over here or something. I don't know if I want to sign my videos yet or not. So that's another question. Do you want to sign my videos? Do you think I should put this up here or should I put it in my bedroom? Because I also have Shiny's um, poster coming. I might put that up here instead. This is white and I'm, I need to move Super Junior over a bit and put something else here. So I'll have to do some measuring. If I missed anybody, please let me know. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.